The first component in any sprinkler system is the backflow preventer. Backflow preventers are required by law to protect your drinking water. There are all different kinds. The one in your yard was chosen to meet your city's building code. Water is brought to your property under pressure from the city main line. It then enters a cross connection with one pipe supplying water for the home and the other for irrigation. Just after this connection on the irrigation pipe, you'll find the backflow preventer. It's important because it protects the drinking water supply by preventing water in the irrigation lines from back siphoning into your home. The backflow preventer is also where you'll find the system's shutoff valve. You can use this valve to stop the water supply to the irrigation system in case of an emergency. To shut the water off, find the outgoing valve by following the arrow showing the direction of the water flow. Then slowly turn the valve 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. You should always do this before working on any sprinkler pipes or valves that hold water under pressure. If you live in a cold climate where freezing could be a problem, you may also need to drain your system to prepare for winter. Check with your irrigation professional on the procedures for both winterizing your system and repressurizing for spring.